A lot of questions are brought up about how I may be in disagreement with the gym bros or maybe even the science-based training guys who maybe they're backing their way into some gym bro ideas by trying to test whether the sort of traditional bodybuilding ideas actually hold scientific merit or not. The truth is... Hi, my name is John Jaquish. I am a doctor of biomedical engineering and I frequently comment on things, sports physiology, uh, training advice. Sometimes I will speak positively about others on YouTube, on the internet that are espousing correct things. I don't chase after people who are saying things wrong because I don't think that's the gentlemanly thing to do. I uh, am more concerned with what is right as opposed to who is right and so should you. Now, a lot of questions are brought up about how I may be in disagreement with the gym bros or maybe even the science-based training guys who maybe they're backing their way into some gym bro ideas by trying to test whether the sort of traditional bodybuilding ideas actually hold scientific merit or not. The truth is, I actually don't disagree with really anybody from a broad perspective. I think there's a, there's a context that's different. So I'm coming from a place where I'm looking at the vast majority of people who attempted to be lifters and they did not succeed for genetic reasons. Now the genetic reasons are not hormonal as many people think they are. They are more biomechanical and most specifically involve where your tendon insertions are all over the body. So certain people have advantageous tendon layouts. They do well when they lift weights. This is a very small amount of the population. And, and for example, I was speaking to Dr. Milo Wolf the other day, who a lot of people think he and I disagree. We actually don't disagree on hardly anything, but he's coming at it from a different perspective. He sells training and programming that teaches people how to go to a standard gym and lift standard weights and get the absolute maximum out of it. Whereas I am looking at people who tried that already and it didn't work for them. So variable resistance is the biggest difference between his answer and my answer. He's not against variable resistance. It's just basically impossible to find variable resistance outside of a very serious powerlifting gym or X3, the, the product that I designed. But I don't wanna be like biased and just talk about my product. Like I'd rather just talk about how there's a, just a difference, a contextual difference between what I'm talking about and what these other guys are talking about. And I think their advice for those who lift weights and grow muscle fairly easily, they're giving great advice in that context. In the context that I am advising people, I believe I'm giving great advice. Somebody may say I'm not, but I can demonstrate scientifically that I am. I even wrote a whole ass book about it. It's called Weightlifting is a Waste of Time. It's a Wall Street Journal bestseller. I highly recommend you checking it out or just subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos like this and ultimately you will get all of that programming, messaging and knowledge so that you can do far better. And I think that's, that's really the message. It's like if, you're, if you pick up weights and you grow, if it's just crystal clear when you walk down the street that you lift and everybody knows it, looks like you're on a good path. Like you might, you might not need to look into variable resistance. I believe you'll do better because even the genetic outliers I work with, like NFL players, and you can see them on, on the website, they're doing better. But also, they're at a higher level of development than the majority of people, so I would qualify that. Like, the, the higher, the closer you are to your genetic potential, the more difficult it is to recruit enough muscle, take enough tissue to fatigue so that you can stimulate growth. So variable resistance has a great application there as well. So just keep in mind, I'm not really arguing with anybody. It's just a different context of the conversation. If this video helped you, 
I want you to subscribe and follow. I'm gonna put out videos on a regular basis. I think they're gonna help a whole lot of people, especially if you're one of those people that doesn't just instantly grow from lifting regular weights. We've got the answer for you.